In this video, we'll be talking about the mesh grid function of MATLAB that is used to actually get the coordinates of uh, any plot uh, and the size or shape of that would be like in matrix with the dimension greater than one, it would be like 2D or 3D, whatever data you need, it would be like that one. So, uh, first of all, just talking about the general way of plotting, then we're going to talk about the mesh grid way of plotting it things okay so generally we are plotting let's say we have to plot a line y is equal to mx plus c so let's say x axis y axis this is the intercept this is the slope how we are going to plot these things you are going to take different points on x axis and for these plots you are going to get corresponding y and you can plot by using command like plot x comma y this is easy as it can be so in order to define x first of all uh, m would be given let's say it would be a tan degree degree 45 degrees it's m c let's say it's 5 let me not mention x you can go for like 0 1 you can either mention it yourself up to some point but this would be a wasted of time you can use shortcut and just write 0 to 10 here the space would be like one unit or if you need to change or increase or decrease the space between two points you can write 0 0.0 to 0 point as 0 0.1 as space two points to 10 so it will input would be like 0 0 0.1 why would we do that this thing it is actually to make a curve smoother if not line if it's like curve surface like sine of x of uh, curve is like a circle and you can get a smooth curve right, there's another command like lin space Lin space in which you are going to mention first number, second, last one, and the number of points. Number of points, and and what how will you calculate number of points? Number of points is a simple form of last number minus the initial number divided by space between then you how much space you need. If you need 0 0.1 space, give it there. Or if you need number of points as 100, you can go here from get the spaces, it's interchangeable. So, how are you get you're gonna write this uh, when you get x is equal to let's say 0 to 10, simple way, y is equal to m x plus c you will get your plot so for corresponding axes you will get corresponding y's okay this is the simplest way of plotting the thing so uh, in order to plot using mesh grid first of all to understand how mesh grid works okay this is important so as i said i we need x coordinates and y coordinates like zero let's say y is not x this time simple function zero zero one one two two three three so in write in function form it's already function you can write in like this way also function like y is minus x is equal to zero okay so this function would be actually equivalent to zero when it's uh like coordinates are satisfying and f is equal to uh, plus greater than or less than zero otherwise what i mean by this like these are the coordinates you are giving zero one two three these coordinates when you're putting here it will be giving you zero if you put something else like zero one x is not zero y is equal to one let's put it there uh, one minus zero here it's actually not equivalent to zero it's one so it's not the point so you can give it all the values in the space how would you give the value that's how where mesh grid comes into part so you do understand what i mean that a function takes a value of zero for line and greater than equal and greater than less than zero otherwise so let me tell you what i mean so let's say let's draw a line parallel to y-axis it will be like x is going to one line x is going to two line three four and let's draw x is going to zero line okay there's a y is not zero y uh, parallel to x axis is y line y2 y3 y4 okay so all these points give you the pair of coordinates so on these pairs what you're going to apply you're going to apply this function so you're going to this so if this is your matrix 
it's actually matched up. We'll talk about so f of x comma y for different values. You will have different values for line. This line, it would be zero zero. Let me write it in red. So the, for these, it will be zero 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 for oh, above it will be one 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 one. This f matrix, this f matrix I am talking about, and for below it will be minus one. Okay, like this. Okay, understand it. So this, uh, how did could you actually define it in MATLAB? It's actually using mesh grid. So when I talk about mesh grid, x comma y is equal to mesh grid we're going to find a range like here is 0 to 4 0 comma 0 to 4 you can increase the space uh, space between two points like 0 you can actually also write like mesh grid 0 0 0.1 as you know, space between corresponding points you can write also this way it's up to you here i have given unit space between them so i will get x like this so i told you x is like parallel to parallel to y-axis so it will be like 0 1 2's x would be like this 3 this is a mesh grid this is called as mesh grid okay this is the x mesh grid and you need to go for y mesh grid it would be like parallel to uh, x-axis or this is like y mesh grid z i will later on talk about z how to include z in there so you will have these two th things now in order to apply the function you're going to write function is equal to y minus x is equal to is equal to zero okay now is the most important thing so in matlab or in any language when you use this operator equal to equal to operator it will be give a logical array so what i mean by that first of all i just said f would be zeros here in the, on the line and positive here negative here but when you apply in matlab this is actually what happens or matlab in any other coding language it will be logical array array at which it's satisfying equal to equal to zero it will be equal to one so the thing is so i'm going to write this one logically it will be equal to one so the function f would be given by one 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 otherwise zero 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 zeros otherwise this is how logical array works okay so when i am going to talk about the uh, plotting a function you don't need to consider you don't need to worry about that part you just set right function is going to zero and it will do it itself this is just for understanding and after that you are going to just plot it mm, okay yep uh, the application of plotting mesh grid for lines or like there is only two data i have just given two data is in image processing so you can just go for i am show f to actually show you the result of this line okay okay this is it okay let's not waste too much time and go for 3d mesh grid now let's go for now 3d mesh grid as i have explained earlier for 2d mesh grid let's go for 3d this x this y you are going to draw a line parallel to y axis uh, parallel to x axis this is like x mesh grid 1 2 3 4 this will be y mesh grid 1 2 3 4 5 and for z for this plane whole plane z is equal to 0 for another level like z is equal to 1 you're going to do the same thing draw lines parallel to let me draw it in with different color so for different z is equal to 1 x would be like 1 2 3 same but z would be like different and in here this is for the second plane the con con concatenated it's called as concatenated matrix is like 3d it's called as 3d matrix understand so if I actually say that x now we define for 3d matrix as mesh grid let's say 0 to 4 let's go for a simple one okay now look at this the shape of x is the 3d matrix now how would it be like so there would be like uh, how many components 0 1 5 z is going to 0 
z is equal to 1 i have to define in z mesh grid yet so z 0 same thing zeros ones twos threes fours z is equal to 1 same thing nothing changing just z is different for this part like this can't get this is over this part just consider it like an imaginary to this part uh, as far as y 3d matrix now how is it 3d matrix this like this one 2d matrix or it is this 2d matrix it's like this on this is this matrix this matrix this matrix this is add changing increasing like uh, for y same way uh, you can go for like zeros and uh, it's actually parallel to y x axis twos like this uh, again zero 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 one 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 z is not zero another matrix over it like 3d matrix like z is not one zero 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 one 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 same thing the important is z is different this time let's see what is that 3d matrix z is like also the same size for z is not zero this whole is equal to zero understood now i think you understand it z is equal to one it will be all ones and it will also stack like the z zeros z is equal to zero all zeros z is equal to one z is equal to two three like that okay then you're gonna go for function any function you can go for sphere you can go for parallel uh, planes anything like that and you would be able to plot it like uh, let's plot something like let's plot a uh, sphere and you have to plot a sphere you would be like x square plus y square plus z square is going to is equal to, is equal to r square in order to show it you are going to use surf c command uh, surf c command and just go x comma y comma z comma not r comma f or you go iso surface or go surf command like same thing and you can get your plot in 3d as sphere just you have to mention with here uh, it's a center uh, center towards center so it will be like here you can change it i will show it in code how to do that how to actually visualize it application let's go for application application of mesh grid so let's talk about volume or area or surface look at this if two surfaces are colliding the contact surface if i actually gonna uh, even equation of surfaces i'm gonna ask you calculate the contact surface or two volume let's suppose 3d volume is actually intercepting i don't know how this like this this is a con uh, intersection volume i'm going to ask you to just give me this volume give me the surface or give me this intersection surface and in order to get that using mesh grid plotting using mesh grid this thing will be easy so how would you do that so you know set theory now look at this i just told you here the output would be a logical okay? here's a logical output as i have shown you ones and zeros you remember the output from this is logical ones and zeros so set theory now assume that you have two surfaces this is set a this is set b what is the intersection of these two points it would be like if they intersect what is the intersection it will be given by a and b this is an end operator or a intersection b you call it okay if you had to go for the whole of the area then you go for a or b this is how you use in matlab this is a parallel line a union b so we are going to use these things in mesh grid to actually calculate the intercept of two areas or bodies okay so you are going to use because what would be this is a set of ones set of ones this is logical one this is a logical one this is zeros when they intersect logical one logical one logical one these two will be intersecting and you are going to calculate the and operator or intersection of those two points to get the intersection of these it's how it's useful as far as in application of mesh grid or line is i think you don't have to go for uh, plotting of line using mesh grid it doesn't have that much application in particle motion but it has its application in image processing if you need to plot a line in image processing this mesh grid will be important 
an image what is an image uh, easy easy thing first of all you remember one thing about image you will have like a resolution of image let's say resolution you usually use 1024 into 720 something like this and here what will be the resolution it's like you will define an image in rows and columns and you are going to average the intensity and you will get like one two three four five five rows and five columns it means resolution is your five cross five you average this one into this one that is you will see if you are going to go for image processing let's say an image of five comma five resolution and each um, the element holds the intensity value is called as sampling and quantification something like that so your image is just like a mesh and in order to actually draw a line in order to draw a line you have to make everything like ones or zeros you can make it actually black is zero then here just say line is like black one is line you have to make this line you're gonna use mesh grid actually you find when you go there it will be like too advanced but uh, i would say the application of using mesh grid in line is for use, using in image processing as far as this particle matter you can use application match grid is in like intersection intersection points point of like contact surface con area of surface contact you can calculate using match grid